there welcome back to lima bean living in today's video we are hauling out my valentine's day decor that i had you know last year and in previous years as well as showing you guys a little haul that i got from dollar tree and we are going to be decorating my house we are going to be doing some diys so stay tuned for that and getting some valentine's day baskets ready as well so right now i'm just unloading everything that i have so i can just really see what i'm working with and in my Valentine's Day box, I also throw some St. Patrick's Day items as well because I, I just don't have enough to justify an entirely different box. So this is the stuff that I'm putting in the kids' little Valentine's Day buckets, I guess. Aubrey is in love with birds, so I figured she would love the owl chocolate bar. Both kids are getting cotton candy, Jack's getting a little puppy, and Juan is getting a truck. However, I might have to switch those because Jack loves cars right now. There was also this really cute owl like bottle, so Aubrey's getting that, and then the kids are also getting little balloon poppers from Dollar Tree. All of this stuff actually is from Dollar Tree, and you know, it, it's relatively inexpensive, and it, it feels like a lot, especially to a little kid. These napkins and table covers were also from Dollar Tree. They will be going on the table on Valentine's Day. And then this wooden heart, I plan on doing a little DIY to make it look like a sugar cookie. So hopefully I'll get to that soon, but that's gonna just be tucked away for now. And then this was a Dollar Tree item from last year just to store little Valentine's Day gifts or you know cards. So that'll be a Valentine's Day craft. I have these little filler things. We'll be using that in a craft later, but let's go ahead and set up this little Valentine's Day Christmas tree. It's cute, it's pink, and I'm doing a little trick that I've learned like many years ago now is where you unpack, you get two trees and you unfold the stems of the tree so that they're only like on one half of the side and then you put the two halves together and it just makes the tree feel so much more full than if you just you know set up one tree by itself then to secure them together you twist some of the branches like around the pipes that make up the tree and you stagger them so that you only really need to use one of the bases so then here we have some of our like previous bathroom decor I wasn't sure if I was going to put this little vase here next to the soap or if I was going to put my tree. I ended up putting my tree there, so you'll see that in a second. And then I strung up this little decoration, pretty sure this was also from Dollar Tree. And I was trying to see if I could make, make it work where I could cut off some of the little you know, decorative wire and decorate our tree that way. And the great thing about this tree is that it's kind of also like an Easter tree. Like it's, you know, it's an Easter kind of color. And you'll see in a little bit, I do have a small Easter haul from Dollar Tree. So some of those ornaments will go on this tree at Easter time. So it'll be like a dual purpose thing. Shine bright up all night, whenever so went down. So I figured my vase would fit up here on the shelf pretty nicely and I'll just go ahead and throw an extra little decoration, this little Valentine's Day gnome up there and this is what my bathroom looks like. So moving on, I've got this cute little sign from Dollar Tree. They had a bunch of different options, but I kind of just liked this the best. I thought that since it was mostly red, it would really pop off of our, you know, off-white walls rather than getting like a white sign. And I used my little helping hand to go ahead and put it on like the thumbtack I have above our window. And then it was time to put our little window clings on the window. I love how this looks. I think the the kids enjoy looking at it too. And then I have these fake flowers in a vase, but I knew I had a vase with hearts on it, so I figured I would just break that out for the extra decoration here.
So now we're going to go on and check out my Easter haul. So these are items that I could see hanging on the little pink tree in the future. These items here I envision using for like a sensory bin. I tried to get something in every color. So there were like different colored trees and bunnies, but I wanted variety with the items that I chose. Aubrey loves birds, so I had to pick up this little decorative thing with a chick on it. And then we have already bought a couple of those like ceramic chicks, but I figured Aubrey would want another one. So that'll probably be like an Easter present and then, you know, some other chick for her to decorate. We had some things already for St. Patty's Day, but we're adding on a little bit extra here. And then I just have to find a place for some of these other random decorations that I had on hand. This is something that Aubrey decorated last year, so I kind of figure I'm just going to leave it as is. We have some crafts that we did last year, so I'll make sure to link that video up above. These cute little plates were from Dollar Tree last year. I don't remember seeing them in the store this year, but you never know. They might still have them. And then I've seen people make really cute tic-tac-toe things with these little bags and these little like gem type decor things, so maybe we'll get around to that and we got some other things that I'll probably break out and use on Valentine's Day. But let's go ahead and finish decorating. Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go too. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it So if you've been here for a while, you may remember that at the end of Christmas time, I used like these little styrofoam circle things from Dollar Tree to make a pendant light decoration using some greenery. So I figured I would go ahead and I went to the Dollar Tree after I decorated. So they were on a new day here, but I wanted to pick up some more and I had these I like this idea for Valentine's Day and I picked up more styrofoam for future holidays. So we will be doing this again for something else in the future for sure. But I pretty much just took some little pipe cleaners I had on hand. I took those little decorative hearts that I showed you guys at the beginning and poke little holes in them and then put the pipe cleaner, stuck that into the styrofoam. And um, obviously I had to cut out like a little segment from the styrofoam so it would surround the pole that the pendant lights, you know, stick up to the ceiling with. So that's how it kind of is centered around the pole. But it doesn't look like much now, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I had some like really tight curly ones, some straight pieces, different heights, and then I will be adjusting them so that it kind of looks a little bit more like sprayed out or, you know, not as like tight to the pole of the pendant light. But I figured, you know, this is a cute little way to decorate above our island for Valentine's Day. In the future, I might add like other little pieces. You know, there's definitely room to stick more things in there. But for now, this works. And the last thing we're going to be doing is decorating my sliding glass door. This is just something that's so like cheap to do. I have some chalk markers and I just, you know, like to decorate my doors for parties or in this case for holidays. You can change it up. You can make it as simple or as elaborate as you want. Here I'm just doing a bunch of hearts in a little like wavy thing. And then when we open the doors, they don't overlap. They actually are like right on top of each other. So it's, you know, it adds to the decoration. But as I was doing this, Aubrey was just like, oh, mommy, that's so beautiful. So she's obviously enjoying it. And it really didn't take that long, but it definitely adds to the feel of the room. 
Now, I meant to go ahead and hang up some of the other decorations, but for the past week, I have been like not sleeping well. Jack has been sick. I feel like I'm probably getting sick. You might hear it in my voice. So it's just been a tough week. So if I do happen to decorate a little bit more and I feel like it's definitely worth sharing, I'll make sure to do like a day in the life or, you know, definitely show you guys. So make sure you subscribe and stick around for that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one.